This is the Ben Brode format. Me and Raynad are going to be playing a best of nine using cards that are available from Classic all the way up to the Witchwood. Let's see who wins. All right, back once again, playing against Raren. I was just trying to go off memory and build like good old standard decks, but there's a bunch of sets legal in the format we're playing today that were never legal at the same time before. So, and they unnerfed a bunch of stuff like Undertaker is old Undertaker, which blew my mind. So I was sitting here for like an hour trying to fit it into decks. I kind of half-assed it if I'm being honest, but you know, it's a handicap. We'll give uh, Raren a chance. Um, so yeah, first deck, uh, phew, man, I don't like any of my decks. Um, let's play something easy and stupid, Jade Druid. I just picked five really good decks over the course of the years. So I'm gonna start off with arguably the strongest one, which is Raza Priest, but uh, I'm really curious to see what he came up with. Also, if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe and let me know in a comment down below who you think is gonna win. I think this is a much more even matchup than before because I at least had a little bit more experience with, I mean, being a better player like after on Goro. Like in classic, right now, just better than me. What sucks though is in this format, there's no wild growth. I will keep Oaken Summons though, because it's basically my cheapest card in this deck. Uh, don't know about this matchup. It should be good, I want to say. I'm assuming he's Raza Priest. All right, so he's starting off with Druid. I, I'm really curious to see what he comes up with here. So this is Raza Priest. If you guys haven't seen Raza Priest before, it is a very good deck. I should full Maul. I just don't know what Druid deck he's going to go for. Worst case scenario, we can coin out the Tar Creeper. Also, I should mention, oh, we have the end one. I should mention, I haven't practiced at all with any of these decks, and it's been years since we've actually got to play with them. Okay. Is it worth cycling? I think I'm gonna, well, hmm. I can get the Fandral bonus off Wrath later if I don't cycle, but I, I just, I don't have a turn three play. I think I am gonna cycle, because it gives me a better chance of hitting the Jade Blossom for next turn. That's really what I need. Wrath for one? I guess he's gonna draw, right? Jade Idol. Oh, this he's going for Jade Druid. Oh, you, oh, the green men. It's a little scary. It's nice that we have that in the pocket. Dude, he's going to be turbo tilted. When <laughs> he realizes we have this for the late game. I'll play Fandral because we have the Nourish. If I didn't have the Nourish, I'd play Oaken Summons. Hope he doesn't have his one Shadow Word Pain. Fandral. I don't really have an answer to Fandral, unfortunately. And I'm not really scared of fatigue anymore since we have that. Yeah, I should probably do that. Coin Shadow Word. Oh, you're so lucky. I would be upset. I just top deck that. <laughs> also, I don't I didn't build like any of my decks. I just took the best possible decks like throughout the meta game. I thought Raza Priest was broken, so I picked that. Quest Rogue was good, uh, especially because they unnerfed the quest recently, so that's why I brought it. So it'll be interesting. All right, so the list I'm playing is a double ultimate infestation build so that means you should pretty much always ramp with nourish guess i'll do spell because i have an arcane giant but minion is honestly looks okay here as well i'm just gonna take the starfall i yeah i i could have taken the the buff spell there but i, I think this is better yeah we're gonna start with healing Ooh, thoughts does really interesting i don't think i want to use that yet though Free from Amber is also interesting. Free for Amber will add a lot of spice to this game, but I almost want to use my mana now to draw. Again, drawing is pretty important. I think keeping this alive is way more important. So there's a lot of stuff you can do against these decks, but just playing big idiots is pretty solid. It's not good here, but I think if it is Raza Priest, this is correct. Arcane Giant. Just to keep this alive. Gain compression, or sorry, gain control of an enemy minion that costs two or less. Uh, I think eight is bigger than two. I could be wrong though. Could drop a Doomsayer, but I don't really want to kill my minions, right? Listen, I know a lot of you guys probably think I'm bad at this game, and most of you are probably correct, but I'm going hard today. This is a W. I promise you. This is a W. If I'm being honest, I'm a little surprised. It worked as intended so far. Maybe it is just time to Malfurion. Maybe I should double Oaken Summon, actually. Because I only have two more things to pull out with these Oaken Summons anyway. I don't want to draw one of those. Maybe I'll do this. Oh, I don't get the... <laughs> Oaken Summons. There's the, uh, there's the peak radar deck building. <laughs> okay. 
There's a chance that, uh, you know, my rushed deck building was not quite optimal. There's a small chance, but you know, I wanted this Jade Idol. Well, hey, it's a good, it's a good thing I didn't let my Oaken Summons go to waste, huh? Me. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. It's a good thing we're not recording this. I haven't played with so many of these cards in forever. I'm also playing like one of the easiest Hearthstone decks ever made. And we're already on the struggle bus. Ooh, Kazakis, there's my boy. Ah, I'm not really scared. I might actually just play a Doomsayer here then. Start the thoughts, you know. I changed my plays. Ooh, love that. Okay, I'm good with this. If he kills the Doomsayer, he's getting Anduin. If he goes face, uh, if he doesn't kill the Doomsayer, he doesn't actually do anything, which means I basically just get a free Anduin anyways. I could also just play Gazakus next turn for absolutely free because I have so much tempo. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make poisonous animals. I'm going to kill this. And we're going to armor here because it is really important in this matchup, actually. Yeah, this is Anduin. I could also go for the... Uh, the Potion of Madness kill? Is that too Picante? Yeah, I don't think it's needed. I was gonna do this. It's too good. I know he has ultimate infestation in hand. Hmm. That might mean I should armor a bunch. But no, let's let's keep being proactive. I gotta draw some plays. Sure. I might just take the opportunity to cycle my wrath to be a card deeper, because this turn it's free if I'm gonna play Arcane Giant anyway. I think I'm going to do that. Rather have a random card. Interesting. Yeah, they struggle with big boys. I'm going to play Arcane Giant as soon as possible. Armorial Drake is good. All right, so we do this. We're definitely pushing a Madnessing. Killing that. Now we wait. Um, I don't really care about taking the damage here, but I'd rather just do the damage. I don't have Raza in hand, so I guess I'm taking a ton. Deal six damage to all minions. Sure. Wow, that was really bad. I guess this is probably the play. That was a pretty bad Kazaka spell. I'm going to be real, though. I don't remember what his potions do. I knew they were good. Also, I just realized this guy still has all golden cards, doesn't he? Freaking Rain, how much money did he put into this game? I mean, to be fair, it was his job. He was a pro player. Tax right off. Girls love when you have golden cards. So all makes sense. Okay, let's see, Jade Golem's not that big. We could double Golem. I think I like this trade, double Golem. Protect the life, but then it costs me the damage. And then you can just ping this. My curve is so awkward. It's just mono sixes, huh? Ugh. I think I just need to use my mana. He's welcome to kill my 4-1 if he wants. My guy full ropes to me. I just done. Okay. Spell, I think. Hmm. Gaining four armor, I think, is pretty good against them. Especially considering I have to melee this dragon right now. I don't know if he plays dragon fire potion. I hope not. That's the card I most don't want to see right now. I wish this was three or more. It kind of sucks. I know there's a... We could actually go with Thalnos into Dragon Potion. That's an extra card draw. I'm kind of for it. I give him initiative, but I think I'm okay with it. It's even worse than I could have ever imagined. That's okay. I your ultimate infestation. This is a good turn to do it. Okay. Again, I'm looking for that Raza, dude. It's really unfortunate the Raza's near the bottom. Bottom tet. God, I feel like I still need to go for damage. He's got Jade Idols, so they're only going to stack up more. I don't think Holy Nova is going to get any more value from this. Now, yeah, let's just get these expensive lethal cards out of our hand. For now. Oof. All right. I guess we'll start with this. God, the 12 12 here is actually insane. Gruel sucks. I might just pick the 12 12. I don't know if the blood's actually good enough because it doesn't pull a minion from my deck. I actually think I want the 12 12 here. I think it's actually very relevant. 
Fuck me. What just happened? Oh. Should I kill that then? I'm scared of leaving him with a big, uh, dude. Cause I think it'll fuck me up. I'm actually gonna attack even though normally I armor in this matchup. Hmm. What do you have for me, Raren? Lich King's too late. Oh, damn. I think I just lose now, right? Because he just gonna keep stacking and stacking and stacking. This is 15. I'm not dead. Okay, so he has uh, 15. is 23 with his hero power. Could do this now, but I think I have to wait another turn. Mmm, not looking good. Not looking good. I was very confident with the Anduin in my hand, but it turns out this deck kind of needs the Raza. Hmm. You're telling me it gets one shot by my little 8-8? Eight eight? No, my elephant. I still feel like Light Bomb is his out. And that's what makes me kind of... Oh, whatever. I'll shuffle again. It's a hell of a spell, huh? Why in the f*** were they thinking this expansion with Druid? <laughs> like, was, there were like 10 Druid variants on launch that were like three tiers above whatever the next best deck was. I think I'm just too far behind, right? I would need like Reno here, I think. Maybe there is a Skulking Geist in my deck and I'm just not aware of it. I think this is my out. Dang. Well, actually not dang, I guess it's... I guess it's just very lethal. <laughs> hey, Jade got him. Damn it, man. Okay, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I could have better there. There's probably so many different lines I could have taken. I think the Kazaka spell was where I went wrong. I had to take a guess. If I had to, if I had to put it down to one decision, it was probably the Kazaka spell. Actually, more importantly, not drawing Raza was probably bad, but it's part of the deal, right? Fun fact about Raza Priest. It was like far and away the best deck in the game in, uh, when it was in standard. And uh, it had like a 40 something percent win rate on all of the like HS replay and all the deck tracker stuff. I've talked in the past about why stats are misleading in card games, but I don't think I'll ever, uh, whatever. I think people care about the illusion of being informed more than they care about being right. So they argue with me on it. All right, one zero for Reina. Not for long though, because it's gonna be two zero. Should we give uh, Zoo a bit of a run? Zoo was so hard to build. There are so many good Zoo cards available in the sets that we're playing, and I have no fucking idea what's better than the other stuff. All right, I brought anything can happen, Paladin. If you've never played against this deck, it is extremely picante. It's one of my favorite decks of all time. Uh, it's a little, it might be a little too slow to bring to this format, but I don't want to bring like even Paladin, like some kind of cringe Lord. Oh, so Reyna did play in the Boomsday because he has the skin. Uh, is it worth PO'ing? It actually might be, because I'm just going to play my hand on curve anyway. Me waiting for Reyna's turn? Nah, I'll double discard anyway on turn five if I do that. It doesn't really do extra damage either, because I think this Kobold's going to get at least another hit. I could Blue Gill Warrior here. Um, but I might set up for like a better consecration. I guess Blue Gill Warrior does the same thing anyways with it. No, I think it's just hero power here. Hmm. We're pretty safe against consecration, so I'm okay with the value trade. Murloc Paladin, maybe. I do think it might be the best control Paladin deck. It might be the one I picked. This is bad. I'm gonna play the War Leader. I wish for this format, Grim Patron Warrior was unnerfed. Like I would love, I would have loved to bring uh, Warsong Commander Grim Patron, but Blizzard still hasn't nerfed it. If there are any Blizzard employees watching this, please unnerf Warsong Commander and Wild. It would be so fun to play Grim Patron Warrior. I'm sure everyone watching this video who had played during that time would agree with me. Thank you so much. Implosion makes this Councilman just such a big threat, but I kind of want to get the Voidwalker down first, so I have Board Wipe removal. It's pretty tough. This is as good as Implosion's ever gonna be in this matchup. Above average. Is that the Raynad Classic? Dude, is that the Raynad Classic? Oh, you'd think after all these years, Raynad would have learned. Why did I put that in my deck again? 
It's my least favorite card in Hearthstone, by the way, fun fact. Happy to be playing two of it. Why do I feel like I'm just dead? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to do this, I think. Hmm. Right on time. Ooh, that guy's good. The Wicker Flame Boy. I need to be able to coin a Light Lord, I think. Hey, we can beat these things. Okay. Could have gone a lot worse. Hmm. I guess I'm going to sit on my power overwhelming a little longer, huh? Uh, it's enough damage to go and face is better. Oh, tap last classic. Love to see it. So, uh, Peacekeeper, Wicker Flame Boy, probably trained to a 1 1, even though it won't make a single difference. I think I'm dead. I actually just strictly lost this game from this cart. Yeah, okay, this works. Maybe I used my consecration wrong, but I feel like I had to do what I had to do. Ew! Am I actually getting bullied? I thought about putting that card in my Murloc Paladin deck too, actually. All right, rough. Rough games here. All right, so far so good. That was like, that was a rough game, dude. That felt horrible, dude. I can't lose 5-0. If I lose 5-0, I'm gonna cry. Like, I'm not gonna play the Bazaar anymore. I don't, I don't care what Raynaud says. I'm not playing the game anymore. Preemptively, the Bazaar sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I go zero and five, though. If I go, if I go five and one, it's fine. The game's still okay. Um, what else should we play? Okay, should I play my worst deck? I did play a bit of a brew. I have no idea if this is good. Actually, I do, I do have an idea. I'm pretty sure it's terrible, but I'm gonna play it anyway. Uh, I decided to search for the word secret and just like put every card in the deck. Maybe this is a thing in wild, I have no idea. I literally just combed through collection and threw cards in. I wonder what he's playing for Medivh. A lot of good decks. I don't know what to keep. I feel like these are among my better cards, especially against Rogue. Let's look for a secret. I'm gonna keep these. It might be wrong to keep these without a secret, but eh. Secret mage. Wait, that's illegal. I'm just gonna throw this down. We can start getting damage in. So the secrets themselves didn't look that great. A lot of them. Ooh, mimic pod. All right. Am I just the worst drawer on the planet? If I hold Lackey, I can use it with Valet, same turn. Do I care? I think I just want my 2-1 down. So he doesn't have a secret. Hmm. I guess I'm not being really threatened then. I'm playing for the board. My hand is extremely bad though. My hand is arguably the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, right on time. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if trading's right, but I think it is. They play vanish and stuff, or we used to. My hand, dude, what is this? What did I throw away? I threw away a novice engineer and what else was? I don't know. Did you get a secret? Oh, we did. That's my worst secret I could have drawn in the fucking deck, by the way. I have nine secrets and this is like the worst one by far. Everything they have is a 1-1. One, one. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is- dude, what is this though? I'm, I'm getting scams here, man. <laughs> Ooh. It's one out of four. Oh wow. Excuse me. Probably could have done a better mulligan for the last game. This one felt like it just out of my hands. That's just part of the nature of the deck, though. It's just feast or famine, right? I could save the counter. Counter spell is fucking insane against them because they have very few spells, actually, and you can actually hit the cavern. But he's at one out of four. He's just so far away. Countering shadow step is pretty good. Ooh. Okay. 
Explosive kills me. <laughs> oh, a 2-1. It's above average. I don't really have a choice here, right? Give me all... Nope. There we go. Sad. Sad. It is what it is, man. It, just, it is what it is. Ooh. Is that lethal? Yes, sir. Boop. Boop. Oh, man. I'm lucky I queued into this matchup, honestly. This is a pretty good matchup. Hey, the secret deck won. Nice. I was worried about that one. I mean, I guess you call that one a game. <laughs> you know, sometimes I ask myself why I still play this game, and I can never come up with an answer. All right, it's all right. We got Shadow Walk. The best card ever. Well, I only have two decks left, and they're both decks that you guys have already seen in the set, but uh, Raren was the one playing them. So let me show you what it looks like when they win. Oh, shit. Shutterwalk? I, I might be 0% actually against Shutterwalk. I don't know. This must be Shutterwalk. Which would legal? It'll be interesting to see what Paladin deck he goes for. If he goes for even Paladin, like, I'm hoping he didn't pick, like, Baku or Gen, because both those decks I want to throw up, but, you know. Mm. So we've got all of our board clears. Ooh. Our hero power usually beats his. Do this. Okay. That's actually good because it's just too psych. Ah! No! All right, sorry. We got Sandbiter next turn. Hmm. If your opponent has two or more minions, gain plus one attack. What the fuck is this common? What is this power creep? But this is also great in case he has some rat bastard weapon. Yeah, I, I think we're going to want to get Finja down. He's playing the Finja, man. So this card says what? When this attacks and kills a minion, summon two Murlocs from your deck. Okay, I don't know if I can actually risk that. This does 15 damage. Uh, 8, 12. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Oh, let's just do this. Yeah. I don't really want him summoning random Murlocs, right? That sounds like a bad idea. So he's probably playing anything Paladin as well. Great minds think... That card's illegal. It's cheating. Rain is permanently cheating. This card came out recently, actually. Ah, Ivory Knight's really good in this deck. Cast each spell you cast in your minions this game on this one. No, thank you. I think Hero Power is better than the 3 2. Dude, this this fills my mana curve a little bit more. Also, fights to the board. Also, just gets this out. Something just tells me, like, I should. Ah, I don't know. I could Solemn Vigil for zero later. Yeah. I think I'm just going face. Can they punish me for letting them keep their minions? I don't, don't exactly remember. I'm a little scared of this, to be honest. I might freeze the 4-4 four, four here. It's, it's kind of scared to the point. Who does this first? Should have done this first to see if it's taunt. Okay, doesn't matter. This is fine. Um, because of the fact that I'm playing Hagatha next turn. Yeah, let's play this while it's cheap. If I could get a hex for his war leaders, the uh, potential of his burn goes down significantly. Oh, we're always playing this. Fun fact: this is one of, if not my favorite card. No, it's not my favorite. Shrivala is my favorite card, but it's one of my favorite cards of all time. I think we just jam these right and just start giving him the wiener. Gotta just pressure him the best I can. I don't know if it's really enough though. I don't know. MC Tech. Okay, let's start with this. Freeze this. That's not very helpful. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Draw two Murlocs from my deck. Do I even have any Murlocs? I mean, I like the idea of Clearing the board. He's got six in hand. I can't make him overdraw exactly. All right. 
I need to find a hex. If I can find a hex, it'd be great. I'm gonna play this and hope for the best. Ooh. Little slow on the Kellis up there, unfortunately. But we can play it to see what I got. Ooh. No, we're gonna do this. This saves me more. Also, potentially gives me another turn to find a hex. Come on, what? The gain 12? Are you kidding me? Who does that? How much damage is any fin? What does this do even? Uh, one attack for each other Murloc on the battlefield. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get back one, two, three. So it'll be five, six, seven, 11 plus four, 15. I put him to eight, is that worth? I could get rid of this completely with explosive evolution. You get a seven drop though. It's probably okay. Huh. Weird. Oh no! My old mer What? Oh, so I just lose to that, huh? Not really a need to use this yet. I guess I just full overload here. Like full clear. Like I'm overloaded, right? But now he doesn't have an old Murkai in the pool, which is pretty relevant. And then we can go healing rain. I think it's the most I can do to put the pressure on. Wait, that's really, ooh, the gang. I don't really have a decision here. God, this is brutal. Oh man, I'm literally gonna go down for it. Oh, am I? Oh, not, a, not my best performance here. Oh, wow. That was the worst draw in my deck. It would have come out for free if I just didn't draw it. Oh, shit. Shit. I didn't need to. Whatever. I'm sorry. I completely like zoned out just now. No, I run. What? I clicked it. No, not like this. I never do this. I just literally brain farted completely. Didn't click quite fast enough, Miss Lethal. Oh my God, that's actually insane. What a good draw. I mean, okay, he has the second one for sure, right? I, I don't really have a decision to make. It's the same thing if he has it, so it actually might be just strictly worth it just to do this. Oh, well, here we go. Oh. Never gonna use that, so we'll take that. Not get overloaded. I mean, maybe he doesn't have it. If he doesn't have it here, I could actually stabilize because then I go grumble into the healing grain. But if he has the second anything, I just lose. No. I guess I guess I didn't click fast enough and miss lethal. <laughs> Kind of want these to pop off, don't I? Do I actually? I could do this, 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 this. Get another boy. Should have done that slightly better, but it's fine. I think I have to play Shutterwalk here. It's so awkward because my hand, man, just keeps refilling with nonsense. That's the one problem with Ag Agatha. I mean, I don't know if I'm dead. I might have been able to get lethal there, but I think my hand was too full. Oh, God, I don't know. I might have missed lethal. Okay, we're fine. Okay, he's got to swing this weapon. The problem is because I, I did it like this. So just to find.
Honestly, this might be lethal. I'm just not sure. <laughs> Alright, that's a big taunt. It might just strictly be lethal because it's six. It probably is lethal. It was lethal for sure because it's two. Um, it's two dudes. I'm just being. I'm being like actual cringe here. This is constant. This for like that. That turn was for sure lethal because uh, we got the two life drinkers anyways. Actually, maybe it's three life drinkers at this point. It would have been three, right? Whatever. We gotta finish them with an arcane devourer. Oh my god. See, this is the problem, man. When you don't play a deck too often, you're just like your mind goes. Pfft. And there's so much pressure, man. Like I'm already down 3-0. I can't go down 4-0. All right, it's game. There's my hacks. Well, that was a pretty interesting game. Oh, thank God, dude. Thank God. All right, Bazaar is a good game. You heard it here first. I don't know if I'm really going to be able to win a game with this deck. I don't know if it's any good, but I'll try. Um,. I don't think I built it that well, frankly. I think we used to play dragons, so I put in some dragons or something. I I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. We can we can do okay. This matchup is abysmal, though. I think I'm like zero percent against Druid. Much like I beat his priest with Druid, I think he's gonna beat mine. Togwaggle is interesting. Nourish. It's like the Druid game he had. It's like so close. I think he ramped on three. I can't actually remember anymore. Hmm. I think I want to start twigging. Yeah, the sooner we do this, the better. Oh! That's cheating, Raynad. That's actually just cheating. What the hell? What the hell, dude? He took my twig! Hey, okay, that's a draw. See, the nice thing of playing like a best of five, right, is you kind of see the variance level out between games. Yeah, okay, so of course. If he has Raz on five, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to be upset. Um, things will be said out loud that I probably shouldn't say on this video. But for the sake of your entertainment, I will. If he has Raz on five. But surely he won't. Do I want a five cost spell or do I just want one cost? And it's probably five cost. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to play this. Don't have Raza, don't have Raza, don't have Raza. This is a game where it's just don't having Raza. Raza's illegal. If I couldn't have it, you can't have it. It's cheating. I think this is just right. Raynad, you s You just better. All right. Took my twig. He has Raza. I don't have Raza. Sag. I do need to remove some cards from my hand, so I think this is fine. Really? Instead of using your poisonous guy? I would have traded the poisonous guy every time. Yeah, I, just, I can't. I would do the nether spite if I could play Doomsayer, but he's going to have a poison guy alive, so I just. I think this is going to. I could force the trade. Let's force the trade. I know that looks stupid as hell, but like I have to remove my, uh, I gotta get rid of some cards. All right, so twig pops, you have 10 mana. <sighs> Maybe I should have swung with this first. Tough decision to make here, honestly. Okay, he doesn't have a dragon in hand. Mm. Oh, that was a really annoying turn for me. That's what he did with his mana, though. This is feeling okay so far. Do I worry about spreading plague? He's playing Arcane Tyrant. I feel like I should. Maybe playing this is... Whatever. I, I want the value. Uh, ooh. Yes, please. He's shown himself to play swipes, so I will play this here, even though I could, I could kill Scarab with it. I guess I could just dragon fire the Scarabs. Let's try this. Oh, wanted it to go on another spite, but that's okay. 
I don't really have a decision to make here. I gotta do this. Twig. Twig me. Oh my god. Oh! Let's go. Huge. Alright, now we just need Tog. Okay. I need to kill my own guy, I think. I need to start doing this sooner rather than later. We're gonna have a hard time otherwise. Okay. There's Tog. We're obviously playing this, so I'm gonna do this no matter what. Pretty sure I want to armor up. I'm gonna hold this. God damn, dude. I can't believe he had Rosa and win and got my twig. And he's not even past 15 cards. I was at seven. <sighs> All right. Well, killing him is going to take us some time. I could save this for profit, Velen, or I could jam it now. I think I like playing it now. I want to be mana efficient. I want to try to use Reno together with Spawn uh, in order to do a billion damage. Yeah, we're not doing this. We'll do this. We'll draw first. Nourish. Okay. We have to kill this. I really don't want to naturalize. It's like worst case scenario for me is to naturalize. Uh, all right, let's see. I forgot how the Togwaggle deck wins. There's some seven mana legendary, Alana or whatever. Or no, he draws his deck and then he swaps and mills you out with naturalizes. That's what it is. So I should be okay to do the spawn play, I think. Maybe it's a little much right now. It gives me two big beaters. I'm gonna play this really aggressively. Reno has better stats. He's more expensive to get out. <sighs> I have to kill this. I draw, I miss a hero power. Oh, I need to do this though. Okay, Coon's good. Whoa, deal. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Lethab's a good draw. Really good against them. Yeah, should be tough for him to come back, I think. Oof. <sighs> we have a ferocious house still in the deck. That Lothab sucks. This is uh, 12 armor. He's scared. He's got the fear. God, imagine my Kazakus potion was like good. <laughs> Maybe I should have done the random demons or something. I don't know. All right, let's try this, I guess. Spreading plague. So my last card's Ferocious Howl. And I do want the Ferocious Howl, I think. I think I'm going to naturalize this. It might be wrong, though. Like, mm, it's so difficult to tell because he has to have answers to my cards, right? Like, there's no way he doesn't have an answer to this. I have to do this. I'm going to armor up. I don't want to swing. Okay, I mean, deal. He's doing that before Togwaggle? Okay. It's really good for me, I think. Shoot, I hope I didn't miss lethal. Maybe I did. Let's try this. Yeah. Like, I think he's he's used up all of his Togwaggle combo pieces, so I don't think he can get us anymore. Ferocious Howl, I swing. Play Coon for the armor. I armor up. I go Ferocious Howl, Spreading Plague. I think the Togwaggle Dream is dead. This is a uh, seven life though. Eight life. My turn is not. Oh 
Oh my god. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna have to 6 0 Raren to win this fucking best of nine. Because I timed out. But you know what? We're gonna do it. All right. It's not gonna be a reverse sweep, but don't call it a comeback. Because clearly we're coming back. I know his last deck is anything Paladin, so I have to think about this in order. What is my best matchup? My best matchup is probably the Rogue. Uh, I'm going to save the Mirror Match for last. Oh my god. It is a fine hand. A little slow, actually. I'll keep the Brewmaster. I think I need it for minions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Wait, I'm 0% against this. Like, literally. Yeah, I'm 0% to win. <laughs> this matchup is actually like 95-5. It's like a uh, freeze mage warrior or something. Like rogue is that favored. Okay, that's what we're looking for, dude. That's what we're looking for. That's the this is the most consistent way to get the quest done with the the one two elementals. That means if I find firefly, we're pretty happy, but we at least get 3 of them. I guess a hero power, I don't know. Like I get bluegill. I think I want to save it as a removal spell, sort of. Oh, let's go. This is this is a much better hand than the previous one. I'll just keep playing some stuff. Do this. This. Um, it doesn't make a difference if I do it like this, right? That's why I can kill the three-two for free. Get patches out. Man, it's crazy what this deck could feel like and when you actually, you know, draw your cards. I want to save my coin for Tyrion if I can. Yeah. I'm just going to keep saving coin. This is actually really good because I'm going to for I have to. He basically is forced to clear here. The question is, do I want to trade or not? I think I'll trade. They unnerfed it? It's 5-5? Five, five? What the f***? I absolutely should have played that deck. All right, he's got one war leader, but he has to clear the board here. Like, I'm expecting a consecration here. If he doesn't have it, it's just probably game. Oh, that's okay. All right. The unfortunate reality of that is I don't have any minions on board to pressure him. That was the one problem with using the pirate guy is that I just don't have a minion on board. So we'll see what he does. I was going to shadow step there, but I don't even think it's worth it. Uh, I'm lucky he just like doesn't have taunts after this maybe that's like the only way I could see us getting him though dude actually am I gonna lose this both equalities is a really big deal if the interaction works like that he had the consecration too oh my god it's actually horrible Okay, so the thing about Finja is he can get War Leader out. Eh, must be better. Yeah, I don't know about our chances. That equality draw was so lucky. Oh my god, that equality that I drew. It's I, I was like actually zero. I mean, I'm still probably 0% to win, at least against the old build. But maybe not exactly, huh? Maybe his hand is just butt cheeks. It's all preparations and I don't know. I don't know what he could have. Oh my. I just... I just lose, man. Hmm. If I vanish, he I'm just back in the same the same point, right? I think I need to take my Uther hit just while I can get the five in. I can melee his guy. So many good options. I don't think we're ever gonna win killing his guys. I think I'm gonna hold off on Uther. 
in case he has to go through Tyrion the hard way. Yeah, it's just game. Oh! Hold on. Almost was conceding there. Okay, we're doing this. Um, We do this. Smiley out. You had one Tide Hunter left. You had one. One Tide Hunter. Oh, whatever. I had one equality. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess it's just Uther, right? Boar? <gasps> it's lethal, right? Oh, my. I actually can't believe I won. I actually can't believe I won. This, this, this Tide Hunter, bro. Yo, I've crafted this card gold after this series. Okay, not a big deal. This is a matchup we could never win. I got pretty lucky in my draws to make it sort of close there, but yeah. <laughs> Holy moly, man. All right, to be fair, that was a severely good top deck, but he had both the qualities. Yeah, let's do Raza. Okay, so. If he gets a really good Raza draw like I did, he could definitely crush Paladin. Raza can race it. Uh, but I think, I want to say overall, I'm favored. I'm looking for the Raza card. All right, none of those are the Raza card. Unfortunate. Da -da -da. Easy. <laughs> Oh, Priest of the Feast. I'm gonna actually play for Tempo. All right, Raza five, Raza five, Raza on five, Raza on five, let's go, come on. I think I just gotta get Finja down as soon as possible. Okay, Paladin does have heals in this deck, so we gotta play this a little slower. The quality is pretty terrible in this matchup, so it's perfectly fine to just play it here. And that'll let me solemn after you. I guess I could go Akanite in to just kill this. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't hate true silvering his guy um although he can't really heal i don't really have anything to give me initiative on the follow-up but this is still the best doomsayer turn i'm ever gonna have i think guess i'm gonna start with this treachery use a friendly minion summon a five five copy of it that actually might be useful All right, Raza, Shadow Reaper, Anduin, any one of them, feel free to come on down because <laughs> uh, this is, uh, it's uh, its definitely not great. I think Raren's playing a better priest list than the one I threw together, but uh, he's not as good at drawing the good cards. Unlucky for him. I'm not going to get another chance to solve him like this, am I? Probably not. He has infinite board wipes to get me otherwise. Let's get this out of my hand. Just have so many weapon charges. Gotta start getting them in. Ooh. Sure. Pretty garbage. But I, I'm gonna do this because there's a very low chance I'm actually dead here. And it's an 8-8. Eight eight. Maybe he gets scared. Again, any Razas, any Anduins, any boys in the chat? Quality's kind of cute here. Not very mana efficient though. Man, this is tough actually. Should I equality? I think so, actually. I just don't, I don't, I don't think it's getting better, is the thing. <clears throat> he can spirit lash me out of his mind, but I'm okay with that. I was doing it for this reason, but uh, I think I'm gonna do this just for the draw. Oh my God. What's the stages of grief? <laughs> I'm going to do this. 
I'm trying to. F- I, I sorry, I'm not talking much. I, I tried thinking through the the way that the next couple turns would play out, and I think this is best because I kind of just want to play any fin a couple turns back to back. There's a good chance I want to do that. Just put the most pressure on him. So if I do that, um, equipping a true silver is pretty much the same as like equipping an uther. And doing. Got to have the heal and the damage. Okay, but this is why I wanted to play True Silver. Now we can go any fin attack again, and then we're Uthering. So basically, we're hitting him with a big weapon every turn. Oh my God! What the frick? Okay. Um. It's really unfortunate the way I drew this. I mean, if he has the second one, he has the second one, right? If he has it. He has it. I can't win. Right, I'm just dead. Huh, those are big. Hey, my Murloc doesn't get polymorph from random fucking Agatha spells and we win. I'm too try hard when we play against Raren. I'm just like, this is going on YouTube. I can't lose. I'm like overthinking my turns, full rope. Oh, I was a nail biter. Damn it, man. Close game, close game. Well, GG right now, uh, like usual. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Even though we lost, it's always a great time doing this. And if you guys have any wacky formats, let me know. Yeah, weird format. It's kind of like wild, except only the old sets, which is actually kind of fun because all the new cards are just way better uh, for no reason. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, boys. Remember to sub to Raren's channel. Remember to join the Bizarre Discord. We'll see you later this year when the game comes out. Later.